Hey what's up guys welcome to fine gap youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to teach you that how you can upload image using an html form to your server using php so without any delay let's start first of all i will open my code editor which is visual studio code and this is the previous files that we created i'm going to remove them close them and what we have to do i will create here a new file like image.php inside this i will create a basic html structure and here i will type the title like image upload in the bodies tag i will create a form opening and closing tag and here i will name this upload hyphen image.php I will post my form to upload hyphen image.php file and I will I'm also going to create that file here where we will submit our form. So we now that we have created two files, let me hide them. Image.php where we will display a form to our user and upload hyphen image.php where we will perform where we will write the code to upload the image on the server. So first of all, here what I will do, I will type here like label for image and select an image similarly i will create an input of type file its name would be image and id would be image when you upload images make sure your input type would be file let me show you the output so first of all i will open my browser and here I will type for localhost forward slash learn which is our folder name exist in scdocs and next I have to type image.php the file that we have created it is giving me an error why because our folder name is db not learn so friends you can see that when you will create an input and give type to file it will display you this button and when you will click on this button it will move you to your computer from which you can select any of your desired image so suppose if i select this image and if i click on this button open now you can see that this image has been selected and when i will create a button to submit this form this image will be uploaded with our form as well so you just have to do one thing create an input with type file this is the name let me make it unique like my underscore image uh, that we will use in upload hyphen image.php to upload our image and this is the id i think we don't need the id so let me remove this id and next we have to do we have to create an input of type submit and its value would be upload here we have to type two more attributes the first attribute you are already familiar with method is equal to post and the second that is new for us which is inc type is equal to multipart hyphen form data so you have to type this attribute and this value as it is because when you upload images and videos you must have to define this attribute to your form html tag so let me refresh you can see that currently we have this upload button as well let me zoom in a little bit and what we have to do that's it it's completed we know that our form will be submitted to upload hyphen image store php and i will create a php opening tag here and i will type here pre but this time i'm not going to print dollar underscore post i will print dollar underscore files this is a super global in php which contains some information to show that information to you that's why i'm printing this here so i first of all i will choose a file select an image from my computer and when i will upload this you can see that currently our form is submitted to upload hyphen image.php and here we know that in our form there was only one input of type file so that's why in this array we have a key name my underscore image you can uh, match this name this is same of our as input name and this key as a value contain an other array which contains some information of our image like our image name this was the name of my image on my computer a uh, full path of your image and similarly image type maybe your image would be jpg png gif or something else uh, this key contains the type of your image if you will 
working on advanced image uploading form you can also restrict your user to upload only png or only jpg files suppose if you are accepting passport images you can restrict your user uh, by writing a php code that please only upload a jpg image and this is a temp underscore name basically when you upload your image first of all your image stored in a temporary directory in your server and this is the path of path and temporary name of our that image and this is error obviously no error will occur and this is the size of our image in kilobytes kb so as we see that this is a super global this is an array which contains the information about the image that we have uploaded on the server so we will use this information so what i will do here i will type here if dollar underscore server request request underscore method is equal to post and what we will do here i will type here like if it means that if form is submitted then only then this code will be executed under this if statement so next we have to type one more if like if is set dollar underscore files and we can copy our this file name my image like this then what you have to do inside this we can also add another if statement here like and another condition like dollar underscore files hyphen our image key which is my image that we have given to our input in our html form question mark error is equal to upload underscore error underscore okay so basically maybe this would be a constant that contains the value to zero and this is a php built-in constant that will check either if there is any error when user was uploading the image but if error will not occur then what will happen our this part of the if will be executed if let me type here like if image uploaded on the server successfully then this if part will be executed okay next we have to do one more thing we have to create a directory here where we will upload the image you can upload in the same directory but i would like to create an other directory to upload like i'm going to name this uploads so similarly i have to type here like upload upload underscore directory is equal to uploads forward slash semicolon and next what we have to do i will type here like target underscore file is equal to upload directory and base name inside this function i'm going to pass my this name my image name so i will type here first of all dollar underscore files and we know that inside our main array we have a key like my underscore image so i will type here my image and similarly i will type here the name by using by writing this scenario i can access my image name so i will print that image name at this position and similarly i will press semicolon here and now what we need to do we can type here like if file exists this is a php built-in function that will check either that image already exists on our server or not you can add this check or you, let me remove this so you can avoid from confusion we just have to do one thing move uploaded file and here i will pass two things the first thing we have to pass which is our temp name as a parameter so we know that to access that first of all i will type here like files and temp name and similarly the second parameter uh, sorry the first parameter was my image and we know that this temp name exists inside this and then we have to type here comma our target file similarly i will press semicolon here now our this function will move our uploaded file to our this uploads folder and if you want to display a success message to your user you can write this inside an if statement so here let me hide this remove this semicolon and here i will type like this and here what i will display the image is uploaded successfully i will press semicolon here and now i will refresh and 
I will press on continue button you can see that the image is uploaded successfully let me show you you can see that this image is exist sorry it was my image that I was creating for thumbnail and uh, this was the image that we have uploaded on our server successfully and if you want to know that the form that we created in the previous video how we will integrate this method in that part I should this is enough because our only purpose was to teach you that how we can upload image to our server one thing you can do you have to if you want to save your image in your database we don't save our image in our database mostly what we do we store the name of our image like 168 uh, and we know that this name exists inside this key we can store this name inside our database and by using that name we can access image and display wherever we want so friends in the next video what i will do i will show you that method as well so you can remove your confusion that how we can upload this image from that specific form or you can let us know or i can create a separate video uh, for that purpose but currently the only purpose was to teach you that how we can upload image on our server i think this is enough and in the next video we will learn about php other functions like include ones and required ones and we will cover our remaining topics if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching